I'm Christine Persichetti with this current news update. A blow to the defense of life. A federal judge in Texas is blocking the state's new six week abortion ban that many see as a challenge to Roe v. Wade. The ruling from U.S. District Judge Robert Pittman allows abortions after the detection of fetal cardiac activity. That typically starts around six weeks. It suspends the Texas law, which took effect in September. That law also forbids exceptions in the case of rape or incest. A group of Texas abortion clinics says the procedures will resume for now. But the state attorney general's office says it will appeal and it's likely to win in higher courts. Both the region's appellate court and the U.S. Supreme Court have allowed the law to stand previously. Babies never choose to die. Over the weekend, thousands of pro-life advocates rallied outside the Supreme Court in counter to a pro-abortion rally in our nation's capital. Abortion hurts women. There's always someone that gets hurt with abortion. It ends a life. Meanwhile, Planned Parenthood in Colorado is reporting a 520% increase in Texas residents crossing state lines seeking its services. But Nissa LaPointe of Catholic Charities Denver says services for women is exactly what they offer. No matter where you're at, where you're coming from, what the law might be, um, Catholic Charities is here to help women. Meanwhile, the ultimate say on Roe v. Wade may come in December when the U.S. Supreme Court hears a Mississippi abortion case. The justices will hear arguments for and against that state's law, which bars most abortions after 15 weeks. This, as some Catholic school students in Queens are praying for life. The Rosary Rally kicks off in the Diocese of Brooklyn. Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio joining the students in prayer before a relic of the first possible millennial saint. Current News' Jessica Easthope is at Sacred Heart of Jesus Church in Bayside with more. Praying for life and that young people are inspired to create change. That's the mission of a rosary rally for Blessed Carlo Acutis that began Thursday at Sacred Heart of Jesus in Bayside. This is one of the evils of our society that we're snuffing out life before it even is able to see the light of day. That's why we pray for the, that good things happen, that young people will see the way of the church is the best way. Right now across the country, the fight for life is ongoing. With the recent setback to the heartbeat law in Texas, officials in the Diocese of Brooklyn are looking to Blessed Carlo to show students they can make a difference. He's an example of what happens when we revive our devotion to the Eucharist, because then we grow in respect for all of God's creation and all life everywhere. Carlo Acutis died as a teenager of leukemia, but in his short life, he was dedicated to the Eucharist, creating a website compiling all of the Eucharistic miracles. A first-class relic, a few pieces of Acutis's hair, arrived in the Diocese of Brooklyn this summer. Monsignor Thomas Mahalski requested the relic. He says one of his favorite quotes of Blessed Carlo, all people are born as originals, but many die as photocopies, shows us all we should respect God's plan for life. That was basically saying, remember, you are created in the is a unique individual in God's image and likeness. God has a purpose for you. You know, fulfill that purpose. Students had the chance to venerate the relic after saying the rosary, hoping it will allow them to see clearly they too can fight for life the way Carlo did and maybe even become a saint. In Bayside, Jessica East Hope, Currents News. And you too can witness the holiness of blessed Carlo Acutis. The relic of the first possible millennial saint will be traveling from school to school in the Diocese of Brooklyn. We'll let you know where it'll head next right here on Currents News or online at CurrentsNY.TV. Stay tuned. New York City investigators say Mayor Bill de Blasio misused his NYPD security detail for personal and political purposes. A 47 page report made public Thursday morning also found at least one police official helped to cover up the misuse. The investigation comes almost two years after allegations that the mayor used the detail to bring his son back to college in Connecticut. City Hall has blasted the report, calling it inaccurate, unprofessional and naive. Pfizer on Thursday asking the Food and Drug Administration for approval of its COVID vaccine for 5 to 11 year olds. In trials, Pfizer administered two shots to more than 2,000 kids 21 days apart. It was a smaller dosage than the shots given to people 12 and older. Pfizer says the kids generated a robust antibody response as well as a strong immune response one month after the second dose. 
And speaking of the Pfizer vaccine, a six month study is out that the guys especially are going to want to hear. The New England Journal of Medicine reports that immunity weakens faster in men than in women after the second Pfizer shot. But immunity in both sexes tends to weaken within months after full vaccination. With MLB playoffs in full swing, the Knights of Columbus is releasing a four part series exploring the connection between the fraternal organization and America's favorite pastime. Knights of Columbus Baseball and American Story is an online exhibit explaining how the organization's founder, Blessed Michael McGivney, loved the sport and how the Knights contributed to the beginnings of baseball in the U.S. That is this Currents News update. I'm Christine Persichetti. Thank you for joining us because we are putting your faith in the news.